Hello fellow simmers and welcome to this tutorial from Flight Sim Productions. Today we're taking a look at Fly Tampa's new installers that they just came out with for prepared 3D version 4 plus. Before you use these installers you may want to uninstall the airports that they've just updated just so that you definitely have a fresh install on these. That's a rather straightforward formula that they've come up with. As with anything, you're going to need to have your serial number handy and you're going to want to run as administrator the execute file for the airport itself. And you can just click next and install everything at once. That'll save you a trip from going back. And once we get this installed, what we're going to do is we're going to actually go into the Lockheed airport that's on your regular I'm sorry Lockheed prepared can't get the word out what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to prepared on your hard drive because it automatically installs it in there and then we're just gonna drag it to a hard drive where you want to store your airports it's very straightforward very simple to do installation time is uh, pretty much what it was before only difference is, is we're going to have a little twist because we're going to be moving it from one hard drive to the other. And then to get it to connect to pre prepared 3D, they've got this clever little utility that you're just going to love. And it makes life a whole lot easier for everybody involved. So if you're not very tech savvy, this is the video for you to watch. This is uh, Fly Tampa's first set of uh, airports that they've come out with that install this way. The other ones install the old fashioned way where you have to go into the scenery and link it through the scenery from your prepared to go into a different hard drive. That's a fairly simple way to do things, too. I'm just kind of getting this all set up so when I go play, I can have everything ready to roll. Like I say, right now this is actually going into your prepared 3D program file, wherever you have prepared save. And once we get things situated here, we'll close out of that. And we're going to go into our hard drive that holds our prepared 3D. And wherever yours may be, that's where you're going to have to fly and find the Fly Tampa folder. And because I already have some Fly Tampa stuff, I'm not going to drag the whole folder. If you were installing both of the airports at the same time and you had not had any other Fly Tampa sceneries, then you could just drag the whole Fly Tampa folder over at the same time and take care of it that way. But in my instance, I'm just going to grab a couple of the files here. Check to see what's in there. It just uh, looks like some photos maybe for the, the library. So I'm going to grab what I need. I'm going to drag it into my D drive. That's where I put all my other stuff. And I'm just going to replace those. Make sure that you're not replacing something you shouldn't be replacing. And then this little handy tool that they have. We're just going to double click on that and it's a command tool and then we're going to go back to our prepared 3d and just get rid of that entire folder because we don't need it and now let's start up i'm going to go ahead and empty it i guess now let's start up our prepared and you're going to see an error message come up it has nothing to do with the fly tampa scenery it's 757 i obviously have two of them installed of the same thing so i have to go in and correct that if you guys want to see a video on that go ahead and leave some comments down below and I will definitely show you how to do that as well as always I like to start up my prepared after I've installed scenery make sure everything is working correctly and you can see it's uh, building everything like it should it's playing nice and I do have Orbix 
sceneries installed including vector so I will be going in and uh, running that little ditty that they have in there for uh, the airport elevation so everything looks as pretty as can be and that's the little error message I was telling you about with the 757 it has nothing to do with the fly Tampa scenery and we can check out our little opening screen there we're gonna change our airport we're off to Toronto so we'll zip that in there and it, I, <laughs> to be honest I forgot what the ICAO code was so I'm looking it up right now so we're good Click OK and now select an aircraft that uh, set it towards day so we can see it during the day. We'll also do a little night shot scene of it too and again that's the air message from the 757 I have too many of. I'm just going to go in with a silence twister. Something that's will get me around okay but it's not like lightning fast like the F-22. So we're going to click OK and uh, our prepared is going to start and to save you some sheer boredom I'm going to stop this while it loads and then we will resume okay we are just about loaded up and ready to go and there we go hopefully you can hear me over the power of the uh, the iris add-on Silence Twister. It's a fun fun little ditty to drive. It's really nice for doing videos too Because it uh, gets you going fast enough that you can actually do some cool shots and you're not going too fast to where you're gonna blow by the airport and As you can see off in the distance there looks like everything installed properly and we've saved us some major room on our SSD drive. And that's the major bonus of it all, of course. And like I say, we're just going to fly around here for a bit. Make sure everything's running smoothly. This uh, video itself may not look super crisp, I'm not using my Elgato on this, I was just using the uh, screen capture itself. We've got a nice shot there. We've got some nice jets down there so we know our AI traffic is working. life going. See what that looks like. Yeah, let's take just a few moments to load. Like I say, Fly Tampa's got two of their airport sceneries out that have this install. But you can install them on a separate hard drive by putting everything into your prepared original folder dragging them to your hard drive that you want and instead of XML files for the older airports that they have or the less new airports I guess I should say you actually go into the scenery there's no XML file set up for those yet and then once you get that uh, all put into your scenery designated the designated the hard drive space where your airports are moved to it works like a charm. So here we have the night. It looks pretty cool. Looking forward to doing some videos on some night landings here in the near future. Again, we're just kind of wandering around and love the tower view. 
I've noticed with any of my machines anyway, that as soon as you install an airport, it kind of seems to run a little rough, but uh, the second time you use it, it seems to run perfectly fine, and I'm not sure why it is like that, but I guess maybe populating everything, but... Zip over here and get a few aircraft. Just make sure that our uh, dynamic lighting is dynamic. And it sure does look dynamic to me. Other than that, that's it for this video. I hope you like what you see. If you do, don't forget to subscribe. That means a ton to us. Throw us a thumbs up. Comment if there's anything you want to see Flight Sim Productions cover in the future. Throw us a comment. Again, thumbs up, subscribe, we'll check you next time. Until then, keep your head in the clouds.